Hi, I'm Adrian. This is a video in the series about SQL Basics. In the previous video, we learned a few types of SQL subqueries. Today, we'll talk about another kind, subqueries in the from clause. All right, let's get going. In this video, we are going to use a simple table named University. You can see it on the screen now. It contains three columns, name, country and rating. For example, the University of Chicago from the US has a rating of 3.81. Don't pay too much attention to the rating values, however, they are fictional. Good, now let's find out how we can use subqueries in the from clause. Typically, when we write a simple SQL query based on a single table, we provide the table name in the from clause. If we wanted to see the names of all universities, we could simply write select name from university. When we run the query, we'll see the names of all universities in the table, nothing new so far. Now, we'll modify the query by changing the from clause. Instead of the university table name, we'll provide a pair of brackets, which, as you already know, introduces a subquery in SQL. Now, inside the brackets, we'll limit the university table by selecting rows with universities in the USA alone. To that end, we'll write the following subquery. Select star from university, where country equals USA. If we now run the query, we can only see university names from the USA in the resulting set. This is because we didn't retrieve information from the whole university table this time. Instead, we retrieved information from a subquery that we wrote ourselves. In terms of columns, the subquery contained the same columns as the university table because we used select star. In terms of rows, however, the subquery only contained universities from the USA because we used a WHERE clause. Naturally, you could also write the same query without a subquery in the following way. Select name from university where country equals USA. We wanted to show you a simple example first. That's why we introduced the version with a subquery. Now let's take a look at another example which will solve a real problem. The problem is as follows. We want to find the average rating for each country and then find the maximum average country rating. Please note that this is not the same as finding the maximum rating among all universities. Once again, we want to find first the average national ratings and then we want to find the maximum average national rating. This problem is impossible to solve in SQL without a subquery or an equivalent SQL structure. We would have to use the average function and then use the max function on top of that. The max function is simply something that cannot have the average function inside its parentheses. Let's find out how we can use a subquery then. We'll first write a sort of template for our query in the following way. Select max of something from something. That's the first step. In the second step, we'll add a subquery in the from clause. This subquery will select all country names and the average rating in the country. Take a look at the screen. Note that we had to use the group by clause to group the universities by the country. We could then select the country and the average rating for the country using the average function. Note that we renamed the second column using s avg underscore rating. This is very important because we'll need this column name in the third step. Now in the third and final step, we'll change the SELECT clause of the outer query. We'll now use SELECT MAX OF AVERAGE RATING, which is the column name we created in the subquery. And that's it! We can now run the query and see the result, which is the maximum national average rating. We typically use a subquery in the FROM clause to calculate some intermediate results that we want to process later on in the same query. Very often, such subqueries involve aggregate functions and a group by clause. Of course, other usages are also possible and we encourage you to explore further possibilities on your own. That's all when it comes to subqueries in the from clause. If you haven't seen other videos in our series, you can check them out on our YouTube channel. Click the subscribe button and let's learn SQL together.